All this meeting in order and stand for the pledge, if you please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Amendments to the agenda. I That's a good thing. Approval of minutes for August 27th. Motion to approve as presented. I second that. Additions, deletions, corrections. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? I thought I was. Um, five minutes for public comment. Not interested to get on. The public is it's not it's talking. All right. Uh, department head reports. Uh, did the cut brush finished up the manhole up there on North Main? Got that back. There. So, lost a head on the tractor, I'm trying to get that replaced. Uh, that should be in a couple of days, I should have that back together and start mowing some road sides again. That's the new one? Yeah. Somebody just told me they're, they're known for head gaskets. Yeah, well, this is cracked ahead. Mm -hmm. I think it was cracked before. And Mike, he knows, so he's kind of he's helping us. So it's not all on me. So he knows. Um, what else we've been doing? Got the trailer moved ahead so we can so the handicap is all accessible. Um, Looks good. Okay. That's all set. Made some extra keys up so whoever, whoever needs them can get them down. So, um, got a got cat skin steer, we've done some sweeping with it. Um, so that's, we got to talk about that tonight. See where we're going. I guess that's about it. Just a demo? No, it's a brand new one. Or did we rent? No. Just let, trying it out. You let me have it. So cool. I don't know what's actually going on with that, so. Uh, anybody got There's anything? No capital. No. In your spare time, I was approached by uh, towns person. Um, said it's been two years since the crosswalk by merchants or by uh, Heritage Family Credit Union has been uh, painted. So you get a chance sometime. Yeah. 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 yeah, and we did get the sprayer. It was, oh, good. It was just fun. So that so that's going to be a timing thing because it's more than just that crosswalk. We've got yeah. a lot. Of, we've got we've got multiple crosswalks everywhere that need to be looked at. I know we got a lot on the plate, but yeah. Do we still have the stencils like for a school ahead and yep. stop ahead and all those things? Totally, John. I mean, I had put my eye on. Better. Nate said they they're still on the burn. Paid good money for them. You're the only department head left, head of departments. All right. Uh, we'll start. My name is six and seven. We'll, we'll start with communications. Uh, Sharon Kendall wanted to thank the police department. She sent a big thank you uh, for the chief and Mr. Kerber to come out to their to People's United Bank. There was a smell of um, propane. Yeah, propane in the building. They'd like to have somebody there because they had cash just kind of sitting out and they like to have that coverage so uh, they say thank you to our police department mm -hmm. okay. uh, moving on so I 
coming up we're going to talk we're talking budget at the beginning of next month um, last year when I did this I scheduled it scheduled uh, budget sections kind of um, not randomly but as as difficulty as, as difficulty was so um, 030 had its own day but the fire department might have been easier so we scheduled that with the police department that might have been a little more difficult to do um, I'm asking the board do you guys want to do that again or would you like to just start at the top and work your way down but what you you would rather is I mean you have to do a top down look. why don't you do top down yeah. to start and then yeah there'll set be up probably a schedule time, after that yeah there'll be time we need to talk to those guys and, and at least we'll have a, a basic idea what the budgets for those, like. those particular track right. points are. Okay. I mean, all three, we know we're going to spend some time on. We know we're going to spend some time on. on <coughs> Isn't that how we ended up doing it last time? Yeah. We wrote, read through one time. Yeah. And then, then we got them in. Yeah. I think that's what we did. That all right with everybody? First yeah. budget, so that's fine. <laughs> if you love it after a while. Would it be uh, can we would it be okay to start with O three O? So because sure. they're the biggest dog in the yep. in the in the fight right sure. now. So okay, well that's what we'll start August. I'm sorry, September, October eighth. We'll start with O three O. Mechanic Street project. That's that's cruising along. Uh, I did have a complaint, the gentleman that we cut his trees down. He had concern that when they dug up the stumps, we were going to damage his foundation. He wanted some kind of assurance for me, which I, I can't. If something's broken, we will obviously fix it, but I can't tell him that nothing is going to happen. So I told him to take some pictures. And, and That's the company. That's that's not on the town of Fairhaven. That's on the people that are doing the job. Yes. Uh, if you want to <coughs> stay in that for a minute, I got some complaints about that <coughs> project down there. Yeah, I'm sure people are upset. <clears throat> There's one section of that project that's going to be underwater half the time. That's because right. They, they drop that sidewalk down six inches below the road, mm -hmm. and it's going to the wall of water's coming off the road, going to lay right on top of it. Yeah. There's a lot of places where the sidewalk isn't five foot. Mm -hmm. It might be two couple inches shy of it, but when you look at a project that size, and you knock two inches off the side of a sidewalk, mm -hmm. a it makes a lot of cement. So that makes quite a difference. But I mean, it's just I'm not saying. It's all over the place. A lot of it's five foot, which is where it should be. But mm. uh, I think the project itself is running very badly. They've got parts where they're supposed to be. They're supposed to be five feet from the road. There's a spot down there that's less than eight inches from the road when we get the sidewalk. Is it at Fourth and Mechanic? That right corner? on, right on Mechanic, right on. Mm -hmm. It's that far from the side of the road, and then all the way down through that section there, from Second Street to Fourth Street. There's there's nowhere near a five foot of clearance between the roadway and and, uh, and that's not the kind of way to the way I understand the contract grid there's gonna be five foot of grass, correct? I have to go I mean I have yes, but I have to go back and make sure there wasn't variations going down because it does kind of snake through there. Well, it's a mess and I don't think we're I think I don't believe we're getting the money's worth. It's not getting done the way it's supposed to be done. Mm -hmm. And that, that deal at White High School that's gonna be underwater. Most of the time, <coughs> skate right All right. Uh, today we held a mandatory pre-bid meeting for the salt shed project. Uh, I do have the. We had six contractors come out. If the board would like to see that list, I have that here. Uh, Todd Ferguson, they shored up the the building here. They put a pillar in after it was damaged. Um, I'm going to make a claim to the insurance company for that. It was up for a little more than $6,000 to repair it. I'm also going to get an engineer here to make sure that that section of the building is stable. Uh, if we're going to put people up there, upwards of 200 people, I don't want it to be um, weak. Yeah, I know. <laughs> be collapsing. I don't want to be that guy. Mm -hmm. uh, capital budget, I think I gave to you guys already. Mm -hmm. Vaping ordinance, that'll be on the next agenda. We made headway with that. Uh, the bathroom, I think, is done. It's done. We could use a little bit of landscaping, but that's a next year project. Yeah, this that bad is not. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not it's ideal. Looks, looks good. Yeah, it's got a rise like that. It's buckle. Yeah. That's good that it's there because we're using that down for football now, right? 
Yeah, we got a football team that they're using the space and they're bringing about 80 people in a day. So when someone wants to, who do they go see to get the key to get to use that bathroom to put in? I got it. I got it at the shop. So they go to the they go to the, mm -hmm. the right right down there at the shop and, and get a key. No, right now I think it's open, but we're going to have to start locking it up and have a like how to okay, page. So That's what the the intent is now to have like a how to use this. So if groups want to come in, we can give them a key. They can lock and unlock and then clean. Uh, we need to make sure this piece of equipment is, is, is well maintained. Mm -hmm. What about winter? When do we winterize or do we not need to? Before it freezes. Right? <laughs> I'm just checking. It's a, okay. it's a separate lead. We got a good guy to do that sitting out over there. Just keep that on the radar. Uh, as the mornings get crisper. Yeah. The auditors came and went. And I. Uh, informally, the uh, the gentleman said everything's looking great. There was a concern about uh, how often we deposit checks, but we'll once I get the full report, we'll talk about it with uh, with staff. <coughs> Budget we talked about the server. We've been having major trouble with server with the server and computers. Uh, if you remember last year, I we took we took server funding and computer funding out of the budget. This year, I'm going to ask to put that back in. We I can't connect to the internet, and it's been three days now that there's just intermittent on and off. So, uh, are you going to be able to do your work? I mean, is this something that is more of an emergency than it? You're, we'll, we'll, we'll go by. It's fine. Vinny will come in and he'll fix it up so it works. Um, it's going to cost up a little more than ten thousand dollars for the server and seven computers. It's not, but you know, we'll get if if it gets too bad, I'll come back to the board. How many times can Vinny come for that price? <laughs> a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, Two thousand dollars for a server and yeah. anything about no, no, it's not. Not. no, we don't we don't use a lot of power. Uh, in front of you, sitting on the table, I dropped off a kind of like a uh, parking lot sheet for DPW just to keep track of what's going on in town. Mm -hmm. I know sometimes it's easy to forget what's what's cooking. Can, can we add the crosswalk painting because there's yes. that way we're, we're checking back and making sure. Yeah. I'm a big fan of lists. <laughs> I got one question. Yes. When I first, when I first started, you didn't have to have a list. Why do I have to have the list now? My, my concern. It helps us. I know that. It's nice to see what, what's going on, what's still open, what's right. how I, things are progressing. When I have people come and, and you ask me, okay, these crosswalks, they can't be done, are they? When they look at what, what's out there, I'm going, They're on the list. it's on our list. It's, an, it's, it's the answer <laughs> that, that, that I want is, is for the list. But it also lets you check back at the milestone chart to say something shouldn't be staying on the list forever. forever. You know, to make sure jobs get stuck and not just stay. That's, that's what I'm, I thought it was. It was it helps us. It really does help us. It's, and while I'm not a, I'm not the person you should go to on how to how to deal with bosses. <laughs> your your boss likes them. So. I'm a big fan of this. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I'm. Believe me, I'm not Good. the one you should consult when it comes to pleasing bosses. Uh, also in front of you, there's a updated demo list. Uh, I talked to the real estate agent and they said, please keep this to yourself as part of the negotiation for selling that yep. property. Mm -hmm. Which uh, there's an executive session for that. Uh, we're talking I have the bond documents if the board decides to move forward with a bond on the wastewater uh, wastewater project. That will have to be done in the next two weeks. At the next meeting when Wayne's here, there'll have to be a decision made whether to move forward. Um, then we'll have to post you know, the, the warning and then go through a, a public hearing. I tell you, spoke to your client. To make it to a vote. 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 The way you should uh, Also, in front of you, I'm almost done. Uh, or you guys should have got the, the fund balance sheet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
um, last year. So these numbers are, are solid, maybe off by pennies now that the auditor's here. But um, last year, 010 uh, was under budget by 61,000. That almost entirely comes from savings from our insurance. If, if you look on, on, a, on an old sheet, we saved sixty-one thousand dollars, eight hundred uh, in insurance costs last year. Both Rio did really well. They they came in at ninety-nine point eight nine percent of budget with six hundred dollars to spare. Thanks, Jeff. And that's all I got for you. Questions? Says revenue. That's sure, but a combination of true revenue and, and taxes. It's the whole. That's everything that comes in to support that budget. Yep. Um, the, 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 can we can we understand where the uh, the increase in fund balance came from? You know, x x percent from expenditures not spent, no. and mm -hmm. y percent from additional revenues so we were actually short revenue this year um, okay. we had anticipated selling some properties that never never material materialized it, it, it does so and it's not 30 South Main it was other properties um, and that's all entirely from it's all from under expenditure okay. be interesting to see exactly for budget purposes where that was you know the line items and things. Yeah, I, I can uh, tell you honestly, it's all from insurance savings. Yeah, you know, it was sixty thousand, more than sixty thousand dollars, right off the top. Yeah, but you budgeted for that, so you made additional savings. You didn't spend. We split the year, so we we came in and January was the new insurance company, so we had budgeted so much for VLCT, and at the halfway point, we switched over and saved money. So that's where that this well, year we budgeted. This year, right? Yeah, we anticipate right. for this year. Yeah, but there was a significant savings from okay. half of the year last year. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. That's it. Let's talk sewer plant. Kind of like the world. We can shut it for meeting. I know. What do you want to talk about it? Yeah. <laughs> so, I, I think. Oh. We're a little early. Pete said he was coming. That's okay. Uh, right. Yeah. We want to. You want to move? You want to move and wait for Pete? Finish off some of the other stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, probably a good idea. Yeah. Thanks. Then we can get Donnie. Okay, let's do uh, the Bobcat purchase discussion. Okay. Thank you. So we uh, we released uh, some specs. Uh, we got four uh, four responses back on on your desk. You should see something like there was an updated one of these. Um, Let's see. High price. High price was John Deere at seventy-two thousand. Uh, Kubota was low price at fifty-one four. Uh, very close to that is Cat at fifty-two five. So when I look at the specs, these are basically the same. They're spec'd out for the same tractors, the same functions we talked about. No, some some a little bit lighter, but uh, the lift, lift capacity on on Kubota. Or, and the reason I ask that question is because you know, lots of times you'll look and say, okay, here's the low bit, but if you're not talking apples and apples, I'd like to, I'd like to know uh, wh where they are is one question. And the other one I would like to know is what, you, what, what's the one that, that you look at from your experience, and saying, okay, here's, here's the best. I, I, I believe cats got the best. 
overall the warranty is better or I should say I don't know if it's better but the warranty is for seven years and I just I like the cat because it they've been in business for a long time and they, that's my okay My question is where the money coming from. So the solid question. Yeah, so the board can finance this up to five years. Um, I'm recommending to just buy this outright. There's 88,000 sitting in the equipment fund now. Uh, if you don't, then you're going to have a 10,000 plus payment in the budget on top of the other two payments that you have in your budget. Um, this is a small item, relatively small item. And in my personal opinion, I don't see a reason to pay $5,000 extra to have a piece of equipment that you could have bought for cash. At the end of the day, if you buy it, you save $5,000. Where is that putting our equipment on? That'll put you at a little more than $30,000. That, is that the one we do 25 a year? Yeah. The reserve plan? Um, let's see what we That includes the 25 for this year. Right. No, yeah, no, 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 I'm talking about next year. So next year uh, there would be 55, that's what I'm saying. Um, I, I'm proposing, so in the, just for budget purposes, I'm proposing actually 45 to be put in there out of the general, out of the reserve fund. Uh, I'm Into sorry. The Into the reserve fund, thank you. There's $88,000 in there, $88,700 in there now. Are you proposing a budget increase? No, it'll oh. come out of um, fund eighty-eight thousand seven hundred four. That's in there now. Yep. Okay. That's, that's of the uh, of the reserve equipment. In your <coughs> what's the plan, your folks? Uh, Two decisions. Oh. Just, just uh, yeah. Uh, the, the only one I was saying looks like John Deere is, is is out of there. The other three are close enough to where. When, when I'm looking at him, to say, okay, what's the what's the quality of what you're getting? What's our experience with working with the people to get all of that right there as well? It's got to be worth something once you start talking. Uh, that they're, they're all 50,000, but the low 50,000 was just my original thought. You were going to say something. Um, but what else is on the plan on the capital budget for next year? And I don't, I don't, I haven't driven all of them, but I wouldn't think there'd be much difference between Kubota, Cat, Bobcat. No, so in the capital budget for next year, there is. Uh, a replacement truck which would be financed for a little more than 33,000 with our current numbers. Mm -hmm. Anywhere between 30 and 35,000 we'd see um, another payment added to our budget. And that in the truck, if you get it down and not make a payment for the whole year. You're still going to have to make it eventually. Yeah, well, no, but I can budget it for next year. Next year, the next five years. I can have that right in my budget. And that takes can, can I recalibrate myself? Yes. We had two of these bobcat type things. One went down. We're using one now, moving back and forth, right? right. So I, the question would come back, and th this one that we get is um, probably unlike the tractor. You're probably going to be able to use it year round. Yep. Yeah, I mean, it's going to get. It's the new sidewalk machine. It's going. It's going, to, it's going to get quite a bit of use when you're out doing yeah. the sidewalk. Yeah. Everything fits on the Kubota that fits on everything else. Yep. Yeah. Oh, we got now. And the Bobcat, all the Bobcat. Everything. Fits on it. All the skits there's a universal now, aren't yeah. they? So, so if I could put in a plug for Kubota. Um, yeah. I understand that CAT is a, it is a solid machine, and if we were buying an excavator, I would say yes, you would buy a CAT because that's the go-to heavy equipment machine. Mm -hmm. Kubota, they specialize in these kind of small pieces of equipment. They are the low bid, and we do have a, a gentleman in town that that, that that I mean, he can he can help maintain these. We have a salesman that lives right here in town. Um, I understand CAT is the desired is the desired piece of equipment, but at some point we got to say. 
it's only thousand dollars, but every thousand dollars counts towards the taxpayer. For for equipment that doesn't that you're not going to see much of a difference in. Um, if if it was my choice, and it's not, if it was my choice, I would move with the Kubota mm -hmm. just because it's the cheaper of the three. Okay. Four. Is there an update on what? past this? Well, yes. it is it cheaper. Okay. All right. The Kubota isn't the cheaper tractor. Cheaper. The new, this new one here is fifty-four thousand. It's we get a three thousand um, dollar trade-in. While Cat's only giving us half of that, fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred. Okay. Yeah. Right Why was, so it's like a a thousand bucks. Why was there such a change in the price of the board? The first one we got was forty-seven, three twenty-eight, and this one here is fifty-four thousand. Yeah. The, so the the original spec that I had was for a smaller piece of equipment that I sent to the dealer. Uh, when I learned that it was a bigger piece of equipment, I sent that out, and that you know, if it, because it was bigger, it increased the price. Mm -hmm. You mentioned the warranties are different. Can we talk about that? What's just like the estimate. Hmm. Everything covered. I don't know what. What is Kubota? Kubota. I don't know what 4664 is. You guys don't have 47 through right. 28. Right. Right. So it's hard to bid what you don't know. Last thing I know, the cat base warranty was a that is special for two years, 2,000 hours. In the municipal market, maybe they put something else in there in their bid. I don't know what they've added or have not seen that. And it's not extra, that's right in there. See it in range. I myself, it may be a thousand dollars, but I think the warranty is going to be about a thousand dollars. So something goes wrong. There's nothing cheap on the pieces of equipment. Is there another piece of paper with the cat? Because I don't see where it says seven years. I see the five to seven year financing, oh, but not. The, yeah, for leases. It says for a lease up to seven years. I didn't think the whole, the whole booklet that comes with it. So the final sale price on the Kubota Solar? I'm sorry? You want to know the final prices? 51,458, uh, 51, 36 for Kubota. Before the trade. That's with trade. Oh. And then the cat? Your, I'd like to correct that. Just with your high flow with your forks, the final sale price is 54,458, 36. And then you take your three thousand dollars off your trade, which makes it fifty-one four fifty-eight thirty-six. Yep. So what I said. That's what I said. I'm sorry. I thought you said fifty-four. <laughs> I'm sorry. I said <laughs> no. I just want to make sure we're clear. Yeah. Final. 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 Fifty-one thousand oh, four fifty-eight. Uh -huh. uh -huh. so like, oh, bravo, and the cat was. The cat was fifty-two thousand five hundred. Sure about the warranty. Mm -hmm. Much pleasure, folks. Sounds like we need a motion. Yeah, I need a motion. I'll make the motion that uh, we accept the low bid of fifty-one thousand four fifty-eight thirty-six to purchase. Huh? I think you're making a mistake. I'll second. Second. Discussion? I'd, I'd, be, I'd be willing to table for two weeks and look at the paperwork on look the, the paperwork warranty. Yeah. I, a seven-year warranty does make a difference. That's a huge difference. 
So if you really have paperwork on and it's, or you. That's the only thing that's holding me. I want to see the warranty. Otherwise, I'd probably go with the book. I want, I want to see the, if, there, if there's a seven year warranty, which everything's covered, that's, that's quite a savings. I mean, but again, I want to see it in writing. Um, and then my only other reservation is just know that it's putting us pretty tight. I don't know what what it does the next year without delving into the budget a little harder, but it, maybe the financing is the better cash flow way to go. Well, let's I, I we'll discuss that next agree week. with you about tabling until our next time until we see the warranty the warranty paperwork in there. Even on both of them. I, I would yeah. like I let's, wanna, let's, let's, right, right, right let's compare them. As far as I'm concerned, it's between Cabal and Cat. Yeah. But I, I want to see what the warranty paperwork is. And if the. And I didn't give you that paperwork, Joe? No. Everything that. No, everything you gave me was here. So let's. I, I'm, I'm fine with that because I'm making the assumption it's apples and apples. If it's the same warranty, Cabal would be what it is. They're totally different. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with tabling it. Oh, you want me to take my motion back? I can't. Yeah. <laughs> One I don't. I will take. I will let me take that motion back, and uh, I'm. I, I think it's a good point. Okay. okay with that. Just one point we should look at on the Kubota. It's a 74.3 horsepower at 2,400 RPMs, and the Caterpillar is 67. Number again, 74.3. It says here 67. That's a wrong spec sheet. 67.1 is what I've got here for cat. That's a wrong spec sheet. I, I doubt oh, you're ever going to notice that a couple sheet. horsepower, but. Uh, well, if you're going to do that, you can go back to the 65 that I quoted. Right. And save yourself. Which, 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 which brings was, you back to the 47, uh, which, which once yeah. again. Yeah. Uh, it sounds like what we need to do is table it, go get and have some more information. Have Joe and Sam put them side by side and just make sure we're looking at yeah. the best machine. Right now we're looking at the Kubota and the Cat. Mm. Let's get comparison. Let's get the warranties. Let's get everything side by side. Mm. Yeah. I mean, personally, I like a little bigger, even though it's only four or five horsepower, whatever it is. I can't disagree with you. But, you know, uh, that was one of the problems we had with our other cat, because we didn't start together. Skid steer. Skid steer, because we didn't have the power to do what we wanted to do. Mm -hmm. But this is a significantly bigger machine than that, the yeah. little mm -hmm. Yeah, they're bigger, cat or these, are little, these are bigger than the bobcats. I saw it driving down the road, yeah, the cat. You know, is it the cat machine or? Yeah. The cat machine, yeah. rubber trail. Yeah. So, do we, need, do we need a motion to table us for two weeks? No, just no, I, I would do a full motion. I would do a second. Bids are good for two weeks. Yep. I know Donnie's will be here. Okay. I guess the biggest thing is, you know, <coughs> as a suggestion, mm -hmm. clean up your spec. Well, it's not to get Sam. I mean, he's very hands on, does a very good job, but we're not getting clear, concise what you want. I did a low pro, a low flow, high flow. It, it, it works. And he's a very, he does a great job around town and, and very busy and sometimes hard, but we got to, you know, to know what you want, it's got to be written out. Um, and it's just a suggestion. I mean, yeah, I that's what we're saying. That's what we're saying. We want a comparison of both machines. Right. So you want to copy the warranty break. and send it to him? Warranty and the whole nine years and break down all the stuff. I, I think they're both good machines, so I don't think the town would be in straits if they bought either one. It just, but it works for you guys. So. No, mm -hmm. I, I think look at. I did not. Joe took that on his own. Oh, yeah. quote from you, so don't. It's nothing to do. Well, with you got that. a quote from Caps from somewhere and gave them specs, and then I got it just after you've done it for two weeks. So I, I, I did take it upon myself to give the bid to Don. I, all I was told well, that's, that's, that's I think it's a good plan. The, uh, More people bidding is better thing. Sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Right, let's just. All right. Let's. Okay, I yep. think we're good with the table and the motion to Start again on what is that? September. Is it all right if I got a sewer block? Yes. Thanks, Sam. You got, Thanks, a, you got a sewer block? Who we're at? Oh, okay. Good luck.
sort of what it looks like. Jumping back? Yep. Oh, yeah. All right. Sewer plant discussion. We better name the song. Thanks, Don. Oh, no problem. Um, do you want to want to give a um, a quick overview, or does anybody want that? Or I mean, I I like this. This is a pretty my way of thinking. It's a fairly up and down kind of situation. You mean yes or no? Yeah, but I, I you know a little preamble wouldn't hurt. Whatever you want. <laughs> All right. Um, Okay, uh, I'll try to make it short, and that's, that's a, usually my way of saying this is going to take a while. <laughs> so I apologize if it, if it does. If I see anybody falling asleep, I'll try to do a wrap it up. The plant's an old plant. Um, I think, well, I, I don't really know the, the newest member of the, of the board, but I think the rest of you know me pretty well. I've been around here for a long time. And you know how I work in my personal life just because less than two years ago I got rid of my 1993 Ford Ranger. I drove that thing as long as I could. I kept it up as well as I could. Um, everything that it needed I got it including uh, the top half of an engine about two or three years before I, I finally let it go. But it got to the point it was 25 years old. And although it still ran, it still got me from, from home to work and it got me wherever I wanted to go, I knew that the time was coming and I got rid of it and got something else that was that's going to last me a good long time. That's the way I am in my personal life, and that's the way I think I've tried to run this plant. I've made it, I've made it run as long as I could. It's still running, but um, but much of the major equipment, a lot of the minor equipment, is just old and it's worn out. Um, there isn't a single system of any kind that doesn't need work. Uh, we've had parts of the electrical um, uh, system from the control panels out to the equipment uh, rerun in new conduit because the old con the original conduit uh, is underwater most of the time. Some sections are underwater all the time so you can't there's nothing you can do to to to, um, to, to get to the wiring and we rewire it because it's still got to go to the through the same underwire underwater um, conduit uh, the equipment a lot of it is old and rusting uh, the, the pipes above ground are rusted. Uh, concrete steps that go up to um, uh, some of our buildings are tilted at such a, an angle that it's dangerous in the summertime and in the wintertime if we get snow or ice, which happens a lot, uh, it, the stuff is just dangerous. Um, The engineers had decided that they weren't going to do anything with the uh, with the chlorination dechlorination tank because everything there was in such good shape. But when I tried to open one of the underwater valves um, in June, I lifted up on the rod that opens the gate, and all I got was a handful of rock because. The connection between the rod and the gate had just completely rusted apart. The engineers since then have said, okay, we will we will look at this and we will replace what we need to replace. Uh, but it's an, it 
it's an old, old system. And yes, it is still working now. But we're looking at at least a year and a half before ground is broken on the upgrade. So if we try to put the work off you know, a couple years, uh, that's, that's putting it off to three and a half years from now when I don't think a lot of it's going to make it till then. I just don't. Um, I guess the one real frustration that I've had in thinking about this lately is the, there, there are questions about whether we can keep going with this. Well, I haven't seen anybody down at the plant taking a look at anything. Um, and it's one thing to say, yeah, I think we can, we can keep it going. If I told somebody, yeah, I got a 19, 1993 Ford Ranger, they say, yeah, you could probably keep that going for a while. But they didn't see it. Um, if, 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 you even, if, if anybody comes out of this meeting thinking, I think we can still make it another couple of years, we should, we should try to put it off, at least do me, the, do me the honor of coming down and taking a look at the plan. Um, and I guess that's, that's my preamble. Question? Can I, I have a few too. Okay. Um, my first one was, with the new plant, can we expect, and this is probably a better question for Wayne, but uh, the quality of the effluent, will we be a cleaner plant? Can I say that to myself? Can I say, we'll be at least a... I, I, would, I would say, if... Because we put somebody, out... Somebody that knows what they're doing... And, and, and you haven't given them much of a learning Lead. curve, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm going to come right out and say that. Somebody that can get right up to, um, you know, the speed. It can, can fall right in and, and pick things up. You can expect to have the same quality of, of effluent. Uh, and really, whoever, whoever starts next, they're going to have a couple years to to, to learn the plan before anything starts, anyway. starts uh, moving ahead. Uh, the, the plant that has been designed, it's got, it's got a different aeration system, and that's the biggest difference between the two plants. And one of the reasons that that particular system was chosen above some more modern systems is because it fits better with that plant. Um, Things can be, uh, that plant can be built to take advantage of the things that we've learned down there uh, to produce the best effluent that, that we can. I mean, it, and, and right. what's going out of the plant is, is, uh, is really super. Yeah. It really is. Uh, yes, uh, short answer, yeah. Okay. And then, can we take other waste streams to offset some of the costs? You know, like can you have a camper dump site or just something to get a few more gallons off the back of the users? Um, Rate. Right. Or is it uh, still a problem with the... the no, no, the... the, the, the um, if, if you're talking about campers, we don't advertise don't advertise but there are people in town who bring their campers down there we have a few people to do that and that works if you wanted if you want to say let's take and there's no charge they come down it's it's a few gallons it's no big deal if you wanted to to increase that where you're taking septage um, this plant is not currently being designed to do, to do that, if you want, it, at this early, it's still early stage, you can make it do that. Uh, you have to add a, uh, a separate receiving station where um, where the septage could be brought in and loaded, um, probably aerated, and then uh, 
pump a little bit at a time into the into the system where it won't adversely affect it. In years past, and I'm talking 20 to 25 years ago, we used to take septage, but the septage trucks got so big mm -hmm. that um, people were they were bringing in 4,000 gallons at a shot and dumping it, and it was literally killing off the system, and it would take one to three to four weeks to bring the plant back. Um, so this, this plant is not currently being designed to, to accomplish that. Those are my big ones. The only comments I have, I have no question just that the shape that you described and that we heard of the facility is the shape that it says here. That's not my problem. My problem is the high cost of the replacement and not knowing of the first day I know very little about it, but am I getting a replacement that's a Cadillac versus a Chevy Malibu versus uh, uh, something a little bit cheaper, and I'm saying, and what we're replacing, if we go and replace exactly what we have, if I'm not using a lot of capacity, if I had a lot of excess capacity today, if I were to downsize what I was, and instead of sitting back, we can be sit back and be optimistic and say, hey, I want the future and I'm going to build something that's going to go, when everything I'm looking at says population's going the other way and I'm not seeing the increase uh, right off. I know that you, you have to say, well, you have to build in a little proportion increase, so I'm okay with that. But my biggest issue, everything I've seen on this right here, is we can't afford a $6.5 million waste treatment. Plan, in my opinion. Now that said, uh, can't afford to pay it, I'll qualify that with, through the original proposal it said an increase quarterly increase of $66 per quarter to our $16.33 that we're paying now, that's just totally off the board outrageous. Don't, don't see how that could ever fly. I don't think we get a bond vote. If we, we could put it up the bond, but the taxpayers of this town would never if they looked at what it was going to cost them, it would never pass the bond vote for, for that kind of work. So what, what I was looking for is not questioning what, what I was told what needs to be fixed or anything, but I do look for saying, okay, is it all ready to drop dead next year and I have to go in and replace everything? Or, because I, I looked at the original grid list that said two years, two to five years, six to ten years, I only have one item in the six to ten years. So I, this grid list says it's all dying, just like, just like you said. I'm, so I'm going, okay, how do we get it back to three million? Uh, can we get it back to three million? Yeah, I can, I, can, I can address those questions. Okay. Um, let's, let's start with that last one first. That, okay, two to five years, whatever. Um, one of those items that, that said two to five years, um, the last time I was in here, uh, you voted to move uh, I don't think it was money. much money, $1,000, $1,500 um, out, of, out of the capital fund to replace that item because it's, it's already, it's not working, it's, it's gone. So that was, that was one of the two to five years. Um, I personally had a lot of problems with those two to five year figures because I don't, I don't believe a lot of them. Um, are we getting a Cadillac? We're not getting a Cadillac. Okay. Um, just, just so I, that part is a question I was interested in too. The way I understand it, the Cadillac would probably be something, you know, even maybe ultraviolet stuff or anything like that, which would be the more modern. Yes. Yeah. Um, the the um, ultraviolet, which I really push for, and I, I really, I, I really push for it back in. In uh, '87, uh, when, uh, when when I was told doesn't work, <laughs> ultraviolet doesn't work. Yeah. Uh, so, and I I I I brought it up to other engineers uh, probably 15 or 20 years ago, and they came back and and they said it's just too expensive to change over from what you've got because what you've got is working. If it wasn't working, then we'd have to take a look at it. But what you've got is working, and so the ultraviolet would be too expensive. Um, now we're talking about a complete plant. No, 
No, no that's that's the, just the very final uh, the final step that would that would replace chlorination and dechlorination. Um, the, the difference if you were if you were building a plant um, from scratch, probably the uh, probably ultraviolet would be the way to go, but because we're rehabbing, um, it, that just doesn't make sense. Uh, and for a lot of reasons that I could get into, but technical stuff. Um, uh, and there, there are a lot of, of um, more m modern ways. I was sure that we would go to an SBR, which is a sequential batch reenact a reactor, which really does everything in one tank. And generally, you go from that to um, to ultraviolet. Uh, but the reason we didn't go to that is because this plant is working so well the way it is that it just makes more sense to go with a just a regular aeration tank to replace the aeration tank that we've got. We've got to have two aeration tanks because redundancy. Because of redundancy. Um, but from what I've seen, there isn't anything in there that's that, that's not that's not uh, absolutely needed, and there's nothing that's that's gold plated. Okay. Now the, the the other the other question is, um, can can you replace part of it now and part of it later? Um, I'll, I'll go back to my Ford Ranger. I couldn't replace half of it in two years, and the other half of it somewhere down the line. Uh, it's it's a single entity. If if you could say that, well, the aeration system is good. We can keep that going, but this other system needs to be replaced. So we'll replace this now. But it's parts of all the different systems that that are bad. Um, we've got a, a grid pump down there right now that is not working. So all the grit that's coming into the plant instead of being removed is is going into the plant. It's the, the aerators are, are churning it up. It's wearing away the aerators. It's running away, uh, wearing away the impellers on our pumps. Um, and the impellers on the pumps right now are that they're worn to the point that we don't know why they're still working. And it would you know it'd be somewhere around ten thousand dollars to replace an impeller. Um, we've got two pumps. We need both of them running. We can't just shut, you know, shut one down. What we we use up our our money to, to replace um, to replace something that hopefully is going to be replaced pretty soon. Um, yeah. And then there was just one other question when I, when I looked through everything. I was trying to understand why it looks like there were two figures in the original report. And it's probably more of a question for Aldrich and Elliot, but may I, I don't have them here, so I can kind of pick on you, Peter. I just want to pick on you. It's a, there, there's one that, that came up on one page. It said the cons total construction cost is going to be $4,960,000. And then you look at the recommended bond vote of $6,500,000. And I'm going, and, and when I, it says, so it's for additional engineering costs, administration fees, and, and I said, that seemed to me, I, and it's all new to me, so I'm, I'm saying qualify that, but I'm saying a million and a half seems like there's some money we could probably cut there, but I'm, I'm, I'm going, is, is it a million and a half once, once you decide what it's going to cost just to make it happen? 10% construction contingency. That, that, that you go in saying, here's your bid, but uh, by the way, we're going to overrun by a million and a half, so you might as well, uh, I mean, and, and I'm saying, okay, wait a minute, then if you're any good at estimating what it's going to cost, why do you give me an estimate if you're going to overrun by a million and a half? Well, I, 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 I understand, I understand the question, and the, the question would, would even be true if you were building something from scratch on a, on a flat piece of of land that was there was nothing but 
but good soil, you knew there was no rocks, and, and you knew the condition of anything, then you, you'd still put in extra. But if you've ever done any, any sort of um, uh, work on an old house, you know that once you get into it, there's, there's you always run into things that you're not expecting. And, and again, I, I'm all, I base it just on, I've sat on, on a committee that did major construction, and we would sit as a, as a group, meet every week, and say, this is the, what we said we're bringing in on. So this is what you're not going to do, and, and we, but we're, we're keeping to this right here. We're not putting another million, million and a half in there. And I'm, and I'm just saying I'm, it still seems like a lot of extra money. It doesn't even make you try to get it done at the original one when you throw that kind of extra money in there. You're, you're going to naturally, if, if we put a bond vote for six and a half million, I'll guarantee we'll use that. We'll probably use a little more than that when, when we're all done, quite, quite frankly. Because We've actually, some of the things under. have come in under lately. Well, that, and with, that's, no, with, that's why I'm saying. With, uh, we have seen it. All portion of See, this is the engineers that are throwing these numbers out. This isn't the contractor doing the work. Well, that's the other. That's the other side. No, yeah, they, want the the, they want us to vote on a six and point but, five million. But they, why you know, I understand that. What, what I'm saying is don't care who's putting the numbers together. When I go to the taxpayers and say vote on a bond vote, mm -hmm. I know it's a heck of a lot easier to get them four point nine is a little more palatable for me With than the, six and a half million. What the engineer doesn't want to happen is you go to the bond vote, you go through all the work, you get four point nine and all your bids come in at at so five and a half or seven, and, and I and I understand right. the world. Right. Then you and, just and the stop. whole tariff thing and mm. and what what you could have probably got built uh, a few mm. months ago is going to cost you maybe well, more. On, on the other hand, by then putting in here a, a one point five million dollar override, don't you think that's going to reflect in in our quotes when people start sure. bidding? I know sure. that they got one point five million to play with. If, if I'm a contractor, I'm not going to give you any deal on anything. I'd love to. I'm going to use every bit of your system. Love to do yeah, this but the other one will. That's the nice thing about the bid process. Right? They have to be competitive with each other. True. But you're still playing with one point. You're, you're still That's why, I mean, you just threw away a skid steer that was $25,000 higher than the other ones. Mm -hmm. Because they just didn't sharpen their pencil. The other ones did. Mm -hmm. Right. It but should they, be that same. They know they can write over a million and a half. They're going to do it. They're going to come in here with a bid just to get the bid, and then they're going to take the million and a half over. I, I mean, think our project management would be better than that. But well, I, I don't well, the, the, the thing of it is, is the last few bids that we've had come, they've all come in low. Yeah. They, they all have because there's a lot of competition. There's a lot. There's not a lot of money out there. Mm -hmm. um, but that's not something you can guarantee. I, I know that. Just saying, that's what the that's what the experience has been for everything. Aren't there really two questions here? The one is, and I think you won't get any disagreement that we need to replace our wastewater plant. I think I think everyone goes, yeah, we know we're there. We can't not have one that's working. I mean, that, that's that's the given. It's it's really saying, okay, uh, how are we going to pay for it? Because um, if we well, don't get a bond for that, there's there's some pretty serious cuts that are going to have to happen other places in order still to pay for it because it still has to be done. My problem is this whole thing is based on just the, just the users paying for it. This is a, this is a project that the entire town is going to benefit from. It should be the entire town paying for this bond issue, not just the tax, not just the users. And if you go for a vote, you allow everybody to vote on it. Oh. And right. that's, that's not I, right. I don't want someone sitting out on not paying water and sewer uh, voting. Yeah, go right ahead, knock them that's out. What well, I, I, yeah, half that's the voters that 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 oh, and, and, and that has happened. There's absolutely no way. Every, I, and that water and sewer plant is for the town, is for everybody. And I agree mm. with you, too. That's what everybody is water going to have to pay in order for the numbers to come out on this way. And, and your people are all assuming that the bond would pass. What if it doesn't? Oh, then you don't build it. Yeah, you don't build it, and and you go back. Go back, go back square square one. We'll, we'll be back having tougher conversations than the one we're having right here. Right. Just what we have. What happens if the sewer plant fails? Then we get in trouble. Just, just like we've <laughs> yeah. been doing it. Well, we, we, the, the 
we continue. dollars will look like nothing compared to the fines that are rolling in like every day. I mean, that's and we continue to do the band-aids and it costs well, us more say, money. We're still, we're fixing one at a time. Just keep like fixing. Said, like the things that I keep seeing, we're fixing it goes down, we're fixing when it goes down. And I, and They're just going to turn from 1500 to 10000 It's going to... I think we... Right? Yeah. I think it's legitimate to ask Wayne to give us a better, a better number on the one five. I think it's think absolutely so. legitimate. Well, Still looking at it. What is the ten percent? The well, contingency. What is that? Is that is it ten percent of the five million or ten percent of the seven? Ten percent of the five. 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 That's just construction contingency. Yeah. And, and part of that is engineering. Like that other stuff is real, real costs. Real engineering. Real costs. But those are real costs, and, like that people are. And the, and the yeah. the problem with a lot of this right here is even the number to come out with the, the five million that you're talking about there. That's making assumptions that we're going to get help, and uh, there's some other assumptions that mm. won't necessarily. I, I mean, this. I don't see this having any uh, lower side to it. I, I see this thing. It's more like, oh, well, I don't think you're right. There. No, I think you're. We, come we did. We did pretty well with the water project, and that, that went. That went from a million, what five or six to down to. Well, we had a negative. Um, we had a negative rate. Negative, negative, negative rate. And I think we came so in under. It was it was under a million, but but I, it was it was. I think those possibilities are still there. The it's you know there's no money for infrastructure. You're right, but I don't see. The bottom line is I don't see how we don't do this, and and it it's just a matter. I don't know. How you pay for? How you pay for it? I mean, I I, I agree with Jay, and I, I and I would I know that's a fight that, and even if it was a few percentage points on the general fund, this is it'll be a fight. This is what I was going to ask Joe. According to this, our yearly payment is going to be two hundred eighteen thousand five hundred seventy-five dollars, according to this paper here. I'd like to see what percentage would be on our tax rate. To the entire town. If you added two hundred thousand dollars to the tax rate, two hundred fifty thousand, two hundred eight, two eight, two hundred eighteen thousand. Well, that's um, every twenty thousand dollars is 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 a penny, essentially. It might be might be less than twenty thousand now. But so still, what are percentages going to be? We're right on the heels of this year's tax. But, is going but you up look at almost every, it's You look at the users. Going to sixty-six dollars a quarter. I understand it. I I don't want to do that either. Yeah. I'm, I'm That's not of, fair. On top of what we're already, what are we now? Sixty-one. Right. A quarter. No, 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 no. Sixteen and sewer. Six, sixteen. Oh, sixteen. Sewer. Eight for six. The other one's water. That'd be a lot. Sewer is sixteen. So you're looking at eighty yeah. bucks a quarter. Yeah. You're talking eighty-two thirty if yeah. we went to sixty-six that they went when I did the math right then, which which I'm going. And that, the, that's where I get into the. You agree with you. There is a value to having a, a sewer plant that Fair works right. and, and and is and is um, something we can offer. The, you know the pie in the sky business but business the that are coming is, in. If they're not going to do it that way, then the rest of the people in this town shouldn't be allowed to vote on this. Which I don't think you can do. What do you mean? Why why can somebody vote for? I understand that. Yeah, I, I don't. Think it is. It's. It, it, I don't know what the. We've never been able to do that before. And the I'm only not reason sure. why is because we had our town clerk tell us they couldn't separate it. I don't know is why. That why? Can't. That's why we it's couldn't do it for the water. We got people that got water sewer bills that do all that people to do the wall. That's what. I, that's why I feel. I thought people, everybody. Well, we should find out. Yeah. I thought that's everybody. That's something needed. we should marry amongst ourselves. I but thought everybody needed to vote because it was a town obligation. And everybody should be paying for it. Yeah, I, I, and I agree, but um, so the consensus that I'm hearing is that jump we got to do it. We got to do it. There's no question. Let's talk. Let's get Wayne in here. He's now that we're we're weeks. comfortable, a couple weeks. Now that we're comfortable, I I don't know personally. I don't know why the the big push for I understand construction season and everything like that. I don't know what the big push is to have it in November when we have a, when we have a March 
March, you know, I understand. There was something. The school bond vote is going time. to be right. If we wait to March, we're going to have an unbelievable school bond vote right along with this sewer bond. Well, they want to go a fall vote too. They want. Well, they're trying to come in for November too now. Mm -hmm. Why? Well, because last I heard, they were going for March. For let's day. hear. I, he he had a reason. Yeah. And there was there was maybe there was something about the reason funding. was because um, there was funding. If it's yeah. funding. <clears throat> All funding, but the funding comes out you in need December. To get so if we, okay. if we vote in November, okay. then we'll get on the list. Otherwise, we'd be a year behind. Okay. Right. Okay. Well, if, basically, year, missing November is a plan for one more year. Right. All right. Okay. Anyway, which is that's minor compared plan. to the big well, ones. Also, missing a year could add to the precious project. Right. Okay. Absolutely. Oh no. Yeah. No. So. Question. Or Let's it might get, get cheaper. I, the tariffs might be going. I, I, I don't think you'll ever see it cheaper. Wait. Let's get one in here in two weeks. Yeah. I don't have a crystal ball. So Let's yeah. prep him Yet. with I've got the fact that we're we're a little worried about the, the million or the million and a half is it seems excessive. Yeah. Um, yeah. Where is there is there wiggle room there? Whatever. You know what I mean to give him a number like we want well, we want the four million dollar well, plan, and then he'll come in at five or whatever. Well, you want me to try that? The five million that, that he get, we just would like a little discussion around that million and a half, and how much of that was was being secure and safe, so he that no one would come back and say, well, you know, you should have. And I, yeah, the plan is just under five million. I think we're also asking right, if there's 40, anything. Four million nine hundred and sixty right. bucks was so the original estimate for the cost of the construction. So if you did ten percent. Right. You know, you, but but the other part right. of the discussion that the press I'm I'm looking at saying, even if we got a good explanation, because he, he could come back and talk to me about a million and a half, and I still would look at it and say, wait a minute. If we go ask for a bond, the purpose of this discussion is to find out do we do we want to go ahead with a bond vote. For me it would be a bond vote, but it'd be for four thousand nine hundred and whatever. And that extra million and a half up to us to, to go in and look at our budget and figure out if we need more for, for something. Well, you, you can't gamble. gamble. You, you couldn't. Can't. You, could, you could not you couldn't. gamble. I would never gamble that. Right. Because, right. because if you run if you run over, over right. you're right. going to ask somebody to come up with another million dollars or half a million. On top of that, already voted on it. But did you, I you do look? something when I look yeah. in our, our uh, fi not finance paperwork that we have we in our reserve funds, we, we have reserve funds sitting all over the place. If you add them all up together right there, I bet you could get a million here, probably half a million there. Yeah, but you can't. Yeah, but you, you can't. can't. You but, can't. But they, well, I'm saying you can't if, take a reserve fund that's been dead. Can't use if it for something. If you, you can't, can't afford to do the six and a half million that you're doing, you're going to get it somewhere. And now you, we can sit back and say we got this money sitting here for a rainy day. I guess no. it's not raining hard enough for us right, right now. Is what I think. Saying. I think legally you can. It's not. It's not. A, it's not an emergency. We're we're planning this. Your ten, the rainy day fund is an emergency. You were right. talking ten percent override. Yeah, which is five hundred. That's four hundred. Yeah, that's five hundred thousand dollars. That's a long ways from a million and a half. Right. Oh, that, that's that is right. Cool. That's and a million there. bucks you're going to save. I mean, right. we're looking at a we're looking at a, a bond for. For five million three hundred four hundred dollars or three hundred dollars compared to one, I'm willing to. Yeah, I'm. I think that's reasonable, but I don't know because I don't do that. They're thinking of I'm willing to I think there's. I think they're considering all their engineering costs and such in that but, number. But the engineering costs should be already there. That's right. They're not though. No. But they should be. That's but, the plant. This is construction. They're not. They're not. That's there's the, a plant they, construction they and then the engineering is set. That's their way of making you think you're getting. No, they're trying to tell you what the no, bid John, is going to be. What they're doing is what the construction you're, cost is. You're calling the guy that's walked us through 30 years of. Yeah, yeah, you're I'm calling him a liar. Well, that's I'm not calling, the way to go. I'm no, calling him. He's not giving us a true figure of what the. Then you're calling that bullshit. But it's not he. Jesus. Not he. No, no, I'm not yelling. No, at Pete. I'm not it's, talking about no. Pete. I'm talking about Wayne Aldridge. He's he's walked us through thirty years of, yeah. of projects. He hasn't screwed us yet. And to say that right. is saying he's screwing. Well, but, well, I just like that's well, I, I agree that's with unfair. Like what you're saying to talk to him about the one point five. I think we can talk to him and see if there's wiggle room there. But I, because like I think you're right about the engineering talks. And the other, well, said it the other things I saw from my original notes when we had Wayne in here right is we said, okay, what are some things on the same line when you talked about the 
the sewer removal for RVs, we said, this are there any all, savings for well, labor and benefits? Is there any because we've got the latest and greatest of their electrical savings or whatever here that we can have there? The sludge removal you talked about. Is there, are there some other things that when we, this new plant, we're going to be more efficient? Uh, it sounded Hopefully. like we're pretty efficient now and we're going to continue to run an efficient plant the same way we were. So I'm going, I don't know how I'm going to save on any of the things that we wrote down as things your plant's going to I break. was worried we might even get worse. Your, plant, if your plant's going to be yeah. reasonably I'm worried efficient. about that. Of course it's going to be efficient, more efficient, because it's a new plant. I'm worried that if we that don't it, do something, we're not going to have a plant. Right. I'm worried that's that, that we, I'm worried we won't be as efficient. That was what my point and was getting to. I'm, I'm a little efficient. nervous yeah. that our plant runs better than a lot of other ones. When you say we're in the top it, it, five ten percent of the, the, the plant, the plant is is very efficient, and, and I'll I'll tell you this and, and, and pat myself on the back at the same time. Good. And because you deserve uh, it. In two thousand five, uh, we spent the town spent fifty four thousand dollars for electricity at the plant. Last year we spent about forty-eight thousand dollars at the plant, mm -hmm. and it's been about the same ever since around two thousand six, <coughs> because of ways that we've learned to use the equipment efficiently, more and more efficiently. And so all that money, it we we've, we've been able to both put back into the plant uh, to buy new equipment without raising the rates uh, to put money away um, it's it's a really efficient plant and I and, and the engineers are really doing everything they can to give us a plant that runs about the same way so that we can continue to use those efficiencies uh, personally I don't see how anything will be better but we're not going to lose. We're, we're, we're saving fifteen, twenty thousand dollars over what we would have been saving had we not uh, had those efficiencies over all these years. So we've saved a few hundred thousand dollars. And we'll continue to save that money in the end of the future. Um, so. mm. okay. It was so well worth it. So it sounds like the couple, so that uh, when Aldrich and Elliot think they may have an idea of what we're going to ask them, looks like we want a little more clarification around the, the million and a half. Personally, I'd also, when I looked at their thing, they were saying grant funding typically ranges from 25 to 40 percent. There's a big difference between 25 percent of 5 million and 40 percent of 5 million for what our final price tag would be. I want to understand that a little bit better because there still seems to be quite a few unknowns. Wasn't there a cap anyway that we're going to hit? There was an upper right. limit to that percentage, right? Uh, 40, 40. Well, what he had on the pitch was 25 to 40 percent, and then it looked like there was a possible Vermont Pollution Control Funding Grant. And that's the 100? Uh, that's the 650. That, so that's that, you, that, that you could get. But it, and I'm going, okay. And that's why I don't know. He might come back and say the million and a half. But I was, you know, I, I come back and say, there's, it's some of that is, is for this, these grants that you don't know whether you're going to get or not. And if you yes. don't, that's the six and a half million, not. Uh, well, that and, that, and that would make a little more. I don't know if that's the case, though. I don't want to make an assumption. No, I think they're saying this is your project cost, and if you get these, it'll drop it down more. It should bring it. It should bring it down. He's trying to tell you the six and a half is your top cost. Right. I well, think I've made that. that I've, way is, that's a statement uh, I've made, and it may not be true. The, the other thing, thing that's what I think what he says yeah, yeah, is correct. It's six and a half. You can't apply for grants until you get the the bond. The right, right. right. It, it's the yeah. And you works. can't really, in good conscience, apply for a bond vote that doesn't cover your project cost. Mm -hmm. Because what if you don't get them? What if you don't get the yeah. grants? And and the bond back when we did this many thirty years ago, what was the bond vote for? Was for three million dollars. 
three million dollars. And what did you say? We paid three hundred thousand. We, we paid three hundred thousand. The town did. Was that back? But the bond vote was three million. Was that back in Florida Gulf that worked here? Well, it's just trying to get central. It doesn't seem to be the same. The limits are still there. Well, yeah. Yeah, it used to be closer, like 50-50 match at least yeah. on a lot of this. And that that has it's gone. That's okay. gone, and, and it's a shame. I mean, it's it. I don't know if we were if we we're an Iraqi village, we could get it built three times, mm -hmm. but we're not. That's yeah. after flattened three times. That's what I mean. So, yeah. but, so, so what, I, what I'm trying to get in my mind is is putting out because I'm I'm all for if you if you've got enough information to make a decision, are we going to be any better off making a decision of whether to go to a bond vote or not by waiting? Well, I maybe you have better explanation. Okay. I I think. What, what what Wayne should be prepared to do is to come in here with a final. If there's a, if there's if he gets got any wiggle room for a final, because we have to we have to start moving. It's a, it'll be close to October. We we need to we need to have the the town time to warn that all that kind of stuff. Um, it makes sense to do it after hearing about funding sources. Even the the other thing that we should consider, which is not pie in the sky, is we got a pretty good rate because of the the um, um, income levels of the yeah, town. Mm -hmm. We got a much better rate than than, uh, and I don't see how that would change in, in a little bit of time, mm -hmm. year year and a half it's been since we did that. So I would like to consider that as well. Um, and I and I, if once we go to that. Once we decide whether or not we're going to do this, then we have to decide funding. And I mean, if we're if some of the funding sources would come from the general fund, and that's a that's, that's a huge fight. That's got to be prepared. That's because everybody that doesn't have water and they silver, shouldn't be allowed to vote. I they shouldn't I, be allowed to I vote. If they're saying. not going to pay for it. They shouldn't be allowed to vote because they're going to vote yes if they're not going to pay for it. Yeah. Well, they should vote yes anyway. But I'm saying this, but they've I'm not, you know. You got it. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to vote yes, but I don't have so. You know. Yeah, so I, 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 I understand that. What I'm, saying is, half a vote. what I'm saying is, why should somebody be able to vote yes on something either. that they're not going to pay for? And, the, and there's 900 people in this town that's got to pay for it. I know, and that's another argument, and I agree with you. Well, I their perspective, totally agree with you. I, their I, perspective is, is the town going to help me? I just had an argument, not an argument, but a conversation with somebody that totally unrelated, said, you know, my street doesn't have drainage. Right. I I think I have a case that the town should be working on my drainage problem I've worked with for 40 years, yeah. and why why does that not get taken care of, and why don't I have a claim that I, you and know. Because it probably at some time it will. <laughs> I <laughs> Unless hesitate. you're mechanic street, then it won't. Uh, but, uh, that's you know, it's just the way it is, kind of. But I, yeah, and it, that, that's an argument for another time. But it right. it 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 will be a bet. Can I mean because so can we have Joe look are, into it at least so the legality say, of it? Yeah. What you what you say to no, the people? Yes, and please do. We can't advertise for business because they can't. If we can't take their sewer. Work, yeah, the sewer is benefiting the entire town exactly. because you're going to get back business. I agree. So come on. I mean, I mean it. People can't afford sixty six dollars a month. Our quarter. Yeah. It's a it's, it's an more, expense we have to figure. Water out. and sewer tax is going to be more than what most people pay for their uh, their taxes uh, in most states where they live. Is what we're getting into here. No, no. I don't getting no. already a thousand dollars, and if you take it's this right here and add it to it, you'll, you'll be you'll be close to it. And most states that there, they for two grand, you you can you can have for the house. And I have you pay your well, taxes. You also have to live in you also have to live in South Carolina and who wants to do that? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a, it's a, it comes, comes it comes back to a basic I, affordability. I, I understand. We still I have to be able to think live here. Yeah. Yeah, we beat it. We beat it yeah. So my basic yeah. thought is is that we're gonna we're gonna do we're gonna do a a, a bond issue somehow. I I think, I think so. I think, I think we, we have no choice from everything I've heard but to put something out and let our taxpayers decide 
whether we should come back move and forward or, or not. Move forward or not. And that's, right. that's, that's where it should uh, be. And, and I agree with you. But what I'm saying is, you got to decide first who's going to pay for it. Right. Oh, and I, uh, my vote, everybody pays for it. Oh, that's my feeling. If you're going to have everybody vote, everybody pays a part of it. Even if it's not the, even if it's just a flat rate on the tax rate, not the whole nine yards. I understand some people should have to pay a little more because they, they are in the sewer line, mm. but not the entire deal. Because part of this deal is benefiting the town. We may, and even if you do a certain percentage, I've always said there should be either one or two percent on the tax rate for water and sewer. I've always said that. Mm. Now we've got shut down, but I mean, but, you know, because it does benefit everybody. Mm. If you have a health fire, where's the water come from? Well, you know. So. Well, let's let's go with that. You're going to investigate the voting way. Yep. You're going to investigate if we can, in fact, as an enterprise fund, put it on the general fund. Yes. And and revisit we'll go, it on the meeting on the twenty fourth. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. We'll have that. Yeah. Yep. There's a list for you. Right. Thanks. <laughs> and he's on vacation. Oh, lucky you. Yeah. We'll, <laughs> you make calls. Yeah. We'll get Take it. Take it with you. We'll he said it. he had a cell phone. <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll get it. We'll get it done. No. I'm, when you go on I have faith in you. Today. Tomorrow. Tonight. Tonight. Have fun. Yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll be back for the union meeting tomorrow. But, um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That. Yes. Clear. <laughs> but, but, but there are a lot of people who really believe that they're already paying for water and sewer. Water and sewer. Well, they're not. I've spoken to um, more than one person, and one in particular that's quite well educated, and I have you know, great faith in them, but they don't realize that only the water and sewer users are well, paying. This will be, this, this, this argument This bond, will, they believe they will be paying. This, they'll be, it'll be publicized enough that they'll know where it works, no, how it works. Not. They should. Sure. Well, well, then you'll have to know. No, no, they will go both and it says, uh, uh, Adult slaps myself. We can get them to move forward. Only well, that's true. It's always true. That's and then the other seventy-five percent complain. Okay, let's move on with that. That's a that's progress. Believe it or not. Yeah, it's a good, good discussion. Hmm. Thank, you. Thank you, Peter. Thanks, for Thanks Peter. Yep. And I will make an effort to come down and see you there. All right. He's always there. Don't let him trick you with his Tootsie Rolls. Yeah, he, he says he picks those up out of the yeah. out of the plant. You probably know. He does. <laughs> Coin drop policy at that. Yeah, I won't go for that. No, <laughs> no yep. baby rules. So the only so, thing that's changed on this is number eleven, correct? Yep. yep. Um. Yes. Yeah. Well, uh, right. Uh, number eleven, and I updated from the old policy that the current select board. Yeah. People, but uh, number number eleven was just after listening to the conversation. Uh, I kept the format the same, so it would look for, for like like the rest of them. When it talks about the persons, groups, organizations, associations are responsible for wearing safety vests, placing signs and cones at the uh, uh, coin drop site. The safety equipment can be picked up at the town office before the event, and failure to observe these safety practices will result in being taken off the approved coin drop list. Uh, if you want. That's what I thought I heard. Yep. I'll make a motion that we accept yeah. the coin drop policy as written with the number 11 added into it. Is that a second question? Are they off the list forever or is it just the one like a year? Okay. I think it should be our ordinance. It should be into our policy, correct? Our policy? No, I'm waiting there. No, no, no. Uh, if they, how long are those repercussions? Is it forever? Sure. Like if you to mess up, you're to me, done. To me, zero, zero tolerance Sounds for safety. Great. For, uh, his, uh, or, or a year. I mean, you can go for. for it's worded year. forever, right now. Absolutely. So I, I, I just wanted to. The, the intent when I wrote it was forever, but it, it, it sounds it, great. Group, because that's what I thought. Great. Uh, if the group wants to say, uh, you're, you're on probation for. Well, if anybody's dumb enough to do that, they you're probably right. ought to be off. Right. 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 I'll, I'll, leave, I'll leave my motion as I stated. Great. I just wanted to clarify. Any other questions? Everybody comfortable with the uh, four coin drops? Yep. Yep. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Okay. We got it. That was quick. <laughs> <laughs> OK. 
Okay, okay like let's one tax collector policy. Yep. So uh, as I had let the board know a couple of times now, the, the town, myself and Bever, are moving forward with some of the easier um, uh, tax sales. We did run across some language in the original policy that while I did ask VLCT for their opinion, it gave me pause. The, the original policy said the delinquent tax collector shall use a, a lawyer to sum it up. Um, in this policy, I've changed it to say may use a lawyer. So that way it gives us the flexibility to do some easy ones in-house, but then still use the legal, uh, legal route if it becomes too difficult. I'm all right with that. I would I just want to make sure that's done. Just, just to caution. The, dot drives and cross We your have, keys. yeah, dot drives, cross your keys, and, and uh, understand that it's easy to skip stuff. Oh, man. Yep. So, so are the what I, I made the assumption that the underlying ones are the and the, are a new new language or no? Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. I, I I'm looking at a not edited version. And then there was also the, the uh, right. I looked at uh, two, number seven eight. Uh, two mm. became three. Mm. And, and my and I'm going okay. And that, that makes that makes sense. That's that's, that's what we did. Yeah. I, I didn't know. And the only comment I have on that is. Is that uh, it's clarification of two, so it might be two A, and then I'd leave all the other numbers the way they were. But but then but, but that's just a semantic thing. I no, 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 yeah, I'm sorry. I want to check them before we do this. Yeah, so uh, I neglected to say I forgot, and I apologize. Um, this this clarifies how many agreements a, a, a delinquent taxpayer can that's receive. Two it's two, yeah. Yeah. But and it was regardless of the number of properties. So if you got six properties, choose which two you want an agreement with because we're not doing all six because that's six, not two. But in the previous one, it stated that the taxpayer, the taxpayer shall also pay current bills and current, and current right? if they have an agreement. Yes, and that hasn't changed. Well, I guess we don't see it in here, that's all. No, it's in there. We didn't take that out. Where is it? Uh, let me find it. That may have been. But the way it reads here, you you have to have your delinquent taxes paid by May 11. It doesn't say anything about your current taxes. No. Well, that would be current. The final. No, not if you're yeah, delinquent. May 11. Yeah, but they're, they're, if they're delinquent, it's not the current year taxes. Yep, yeah, but if you're if everything has to be paid by May 11th, that it's all it says is delinquent taxes must be paid by May 11th. And your your other your current year taxes aren't delinquent until after May 11th. All right, Jay, which uh, which bolt are you looking at here? Right here, number this two. Is, number two is what? This was the original. One. The old number two? No, it was just yeah. written here. This is delinquent Tenancy. property tax yep. agreement. This is on the agreement. Oh, you're on the agreement itself. Versus the policy. Oh, well, the policy, policy should, should read the same thing. The policy should read that you have to keep current taxes current. No, the taxes. only payments. The, the, the policy is saying we can give you a, a, we can give the rate or the taxpayer an agreement. For it, fully. And it's yeah, the the agreement is itself binding. You don't yeah. have you don't have to say it in the policy itself. We're saying the policy says here's the agreement. This is the written agreement that says now you need to stay current. No, he he wants to make sure that they're. I want to make sure the current tax is being paid. He thinks the, the he wants the any. I'm putting words if, in your mouth, but you, you want. Got, all right, say you're back two years in taxes. Okay. You come in and make an agreement. That's right? fine, but it's only on those two years. On those two years, but you have to keep your current taxes current as you're paying on those two years. current years taxes. Yes, but they don't. That's not what happens because but they, they just went through this. Right with one of our taxes. Oh, yeah, and 100% that was me. There was a, there was a three month overlap. And that was- There's more now. Because if you're here. letting them, if you're not paying your taxes every quarter when it comes up, they're delinquent. No, taxes are due once a year. It's, they, okay. they become delinquent. No, no, yeah, I understand well, what you're you saying. Look at, you look at what we just went through. Or you don't have to pay. And they never paid a dime on the year taxes. Nothing. Never paid a dime on the And now, 
that's the taxes delinquent that they got to pay. Those are the taxes that are not delinquent. And yes. they're not going to pay on, the, on this year's bill either. Have they paid nothing on this year's bill? I haven't seen the, the young I one. mean, it's not right. We're, right now, every time that people don't pay, right now we're $130,000 back on, on taxes, right? That, isn't that what we're owed on back taxes? Oh, yeah, there's a significant. It is okay. something like that for taxes. Yeah. We've already put that into our budget. Yeah. The hundred and thirty thousand dollars that we're not getting paid is short on our budget. Yep. So how are we paying our bills? Yes. We have to have all our entire budget is based on, on ta total, total tax, tax rate. rate. Now some of that that's not to say yes, there is a hundred and thirty thousand dollars owed, but you have to get into the weeds on it. Because there are some that have been uh, like there are some title problems with say the wing property where you have two years of back taxes, or you have some old abandoned trailers that there's no way the town but wants I any know. part of it and that just kind of snowballs into it so what i'm saying those should be abated we, what i'm saying is yeah, we're looking we have at. to our entire tax rate and our taxes are taken care of on our grand list if people aren't paying their taxes and there's hundred and thirty thousand dollars short for one year we're hundred and thirty thousand dollars short in our budget for paying our bills and that's your revenue trouble it's because our revenue is out hundred and thirty thousand dollars Well, no, I don't want to argue with you, Jay, but no. What do you mean? The, the short answer is no. If you didn't, if our, you know, our, where's the <laughs> where dollar packed? Where does where does pay? You want to pay $75, you still owe $25. This, well, where does the money come from that we've figured into our budget on our grand list? So if we're short $130,000. The $130,000 is a cumulative over many, I many years. So, but we're still it's, short. We've been short that every year. No, every no. year. <laughs> one, right, listen, one of the people you just took care of, uh, he owed us, he owes us twenty thousand dollars right now. Yes. That's from last year's tax bill. Or previous yeah, last year's tax right. bill. We're twenty thousand dollars short in our budget this year. Because that money hasn't been paid. Yeah, so right. last I so, agree with that statement. Well so uh, yeah, for I this for that tax year. So for last year, just as an example, ninety eight percent almost ninety nine percent of taxes were paid, ninety eight point nine one percent. There was a short of fifteen thousand dollars. It wasn't that's impossible because one person owes us twenty. That's what I'm saying. That was last year's taxes, though. It, it's but your, that's for this year's. That was for our tax you, rate for last year. You, you can't put. You're putting. Uh, you're putting ten buckets worth of money into one bucket worth of budget, and that's not. How, I mean, I don't want to argue about how it. How can we come up with a surplus in our budget exactly. unless people didn't pay? Unless we didn't spend the money that was in the budget. That's, that's what happened. And, and for $20,000, we're still $20,000 behind. Underspent, underspent. There's a little carry on. Underspent funding. But, but, but I, I, thought the, I thought the whole discussion well, was, hey, as long as, if we have someone who's paying and working, has an agreement, and is working and paying their taxes, that's right. we are so much further ahead that's right. than saying, we're just going to tax sale your, your thing and go, because you're not only you're not going to get that money, the added expense for attorneys and everything else as you're trying to chase right. that thing around is not going to get you there. No, I, I think that what I cover is that you can only have two. And, you, and, and that's yeah. what I thought. Agreements. Well, and they should be a reasonable agreement that. That you're paying. It ends up getting you out of it. Yeah. But if you don't have right. your current taxes being paid, you're never going to get out of it. Exactly. And that right. should be part of the agreement. That's got to be that's part of the agreement. That's what he's been saying for 20 minutes. Yeah, it is, I mean, it is part of the agreement. But, but I think what, Jay, according, what I think I think what I hear you saying no, 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 is the, is it or not? the policy. The po I mean, what you're saying I, is I like on number two, you'd, you'd like yeah, to see some clarification. Hold on, hold on. Let's go ahead. Go ahead. Excuse me. I I I think I think what what I heard Jay say is, but he looked in agreement, and and what we're talking about is the policy, and if we need to fine-tune the policy we've got a few things that are underlined but Jay is just what I think you're saying is like whether it's number two or not where it says the one year but there probably needs to be another sentence or something added there that that says that you need to have your taxes the agreement current. The agreement and then, he's, then he'll say so I'm, I'm happy with that not disagreeing with what, what's here but as the, the preface that this that's where you start and you can't have more than two agreements only payment arrangements that will, which will pay the delinquent taxes in full before the current year becomes delinquent. So, 
Or do you see this? That already is Number covered. Two. Number two. Well, well, it's covered, is, isn't you're it? You're right. That's what it's well, What I'm saying is the yeah. May 11th, your current taxes that you haven't paid on are delinquent. So you haven't got yourself out you're of not right. Yeah. And if you're, if, you're well, paying then your, if you're paying your current taxes with your delinquent taxes at May 10th, you're going to be out of the hole. Right. You're, Everything is going to be paid in full to the town. Right. I, I would even be comfortable with that some wording that says that the current taxes that are you're paying your current taxes you know the taxes due quarterly quarterly whatever whatever however you make the agreement but something in the wording that says current taxes will be include included in the agreement so you might so get, that we want this in the so in the agreement, it does say that in the agreement. Right. I can guarantee that. I believe do, that. Do, do we want this in the policy now? Because there's two, we're talking two. I'm sorry, I thought we were talking about the same thing. We're talking about two separate things. I, I think <laughs> we're, we're talking past should, each other. That's my fault. I'm sorry about that. I so think we want to put it in the policy. I think you should put it in the policy. Well, and I think the reason we're having the policy discussion is that Joe, you're saying, hey, look, this is my overriding document. Yeah. For me to be the tax collector, I just want to make sure the the overriding document, the policy I'm following, is what yeah. we all understand. So, because all, it, all it has to say is that the uh, current, current taxes will be included in the agreement. Will be kept current. Yeah, yeah current taxes yeah. shall because be. If they don't, be kept we'll, we'll, we'll wordsmith themselves yeah. and bring it back. Put, putting one sentence. If you go, yeah, right. if it's not in the policy, and they'll come back and you give this to them, say, well, that's not what the policy says. But. But are your taxes technically current if they're not delinquent? Like you cannot make yes, a tax payment. Keep your current year taxes current. You cannot make a tax payment all year, right? Right. Or and you. still be current. And still be current. As long well, as you pay it by the tenth of okay, May. Okay, but yeah. May, by May eleventh. But, but by then you're, you're paid up on all your back stuff. Mm -hmm. And. But if they right, don't but, pay but it. By, uh, but if you write that as Part that your that, that your agreement has to be current, so. As of May 11, you're breaking your agreement. So you've got it. That forces you got to make the next payment. You got it. That forces them to either make that one yeah. balloon payment mm -hmm. or to make payments in in the, involved in their okay. in their agreement. Correct. I mean, am I right? Well, if they were if they uh, were delinquent, then they policy before yeah. long. Uh, I well, I guess know. technically, yes. not, I would no, think <laughs> it was it, It's not there now. So I, I, think I would you, think you I could argue think. that I completed my agreement. I paid, made all my payments and then I went behind again. Because he didn't touch his credit. It, because, right, because they which, weren't delinquent until and, today. And, and, and what this now is, I need another agreement. agreement. And what this, and what this is saying, and, next year you're and I can only another. have, I can only have two. Yep. You can only have two. So then, so you, again, but then you're done. As of May 10th, you're short that money in your budget that you plan to use the rest of the year. And so yeah. the, I, I guess, what my problem is, this is a tool to help people. Not a tool to let them use it forever. So the two, right. the two yeah. times, cuts the people slack that need the help. And if they use that loophole twice, then they don't get an agreement, no, right? Right. They never don't get another agreement. Or they come to the board. Yeah, right. And then they'll, and then the board will be able to say, "Well, don't worry." This board. They come to this yeah. board. So, this board doesn't have that. Board. It should be in there. You can yeah, I agree with that. Right. This board doesn't have that. If we do when you don't make the agreement. You bring them in here. No, tax no, not to abate, but to do a tax sale. It's funny. So the what was I, the I, one I, you I, just I, did? I, I that went to the board of abatement, but even, okay. even them, that was the that was said. different. Okay. All right. I, I think you I think your argument. You guys are actually saying the same thing. We are. I didn't realize. <laughs> you're you were not happy with doing that because your your theory was we were financing the taxes. Yes. And I think that's true. And I and I think that's what you're saying. So if we say something that says that the agreement will include current taxes and it, as of May eleven if their taxes aren't if they're not paying then they've broken the agreement and then tax sale proceedings could happen. Yeah. Is it a statute or an order? It was a water agreement. Policy. Uh, that's what you brought to us. On oh, it, yeah, you're, you're not uh, Past due until May, May 11th. May 10th. May Midnight of May 10th. Yeah, okay. That's where it's a lot of time here. That's the only time. I mean, yeah. you're not, not make a quarter. Yeah, I don't know that. I, that's, I don't that's know. Well, I don't know. Can, 
can it be can they be counted as well we've had this argument before with people we, don't they charge, I, don't they I, charge I, I haven't tax involved in any of a penalty those. after the quarter's not paid no. right well in interest no, there's like an interest yeah, yeah. not, yeah, not the only, until may the only quarter that yeah. you're there no, 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 if you is may. if you miss the first quarter it's not a big deal there's there's no interest no, charge absolutely. second quarter there's no but interest. if you're late if you're late in may you get charged right. for yeah. the whole thing i know that because i did it once <laughs> so, i would just like to see that sentence in the in the policy in the policy yep. no i'll add it in there that's easy so to, to, it makes to it try clear. to wrap up the rest of the policy, lawyer. you want no you chance. want us to uh, agree with the wording changes on number three, number eight, and number nine, right? Yeah. yeah. Right? yeah. Well, I, I guess my question yeah. is, can you write in the policy that current year taxes shall be paid uh, as, well as, the, the, as well as the, uh, the, the payment plan, but the current year taxes shall be paid quarterly when they're due? That could be put uh, in there too. You could put that, but, but just we got to find out whether I they're, they're actually doing it. We're talking about an agreement. An agreement, I know. We're not talking about ordinance or statute. Right. But if, if, this, if the policy was that current year taxes shall be paid quarterly, and they're due 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 quarterly, August 11th, mm -hmm. November 11th. Well, I, that's another one to question. When you're talking, you're going to have a long talk with the VLCT. Yeah. So. No, they're good people over there. <laughs> well, I mean, that's a, that's a legitimate question. Then we could that could be then you that could be written in quarterly, in, yeah, rather could, than yearly. Mm -hmm. And you could give that person a, a heads up that they are in trouble. Right. Yeah. Long before the long up. before May 11th, but still May 11th would still be the cutoff. Would be the right, final. You know, drop dead date. But it, having said that, let's move on. Let's table that until next time. So we're going to read. We'll, and we'll vote on it all at once. Okay. If that's all right, right, right. right. It, it'd be more logic clear. Um, parking lot. Anything? Jump out of everybody. You got the capital budget. Is that complete? Uh, is that what the, we've got? Is complete? Yeah. So uh, I reached out, and all the all the department heads gave me their input. Uh, that's the draft, and it's for the board to review. What's the uh, net effect on the budget if we buy everything? I, I mean, for this year. You know. Oh, it's, yeah. It's going to it go work. Is this a workable plan, the way it sits? So the the plan that is as it sits now, or so the new money would be the dump truck for thirty three thousand. Uh, so compact we'd have to add back meter. We meter comes out of water. Like the skid steer in there or no? The skid steer is in there. You're looking at thirty, forty, fifty, five, fifty five thousand extra dollars. Going into that's next year's in, budget. That's figure in the truck, though. That's yep. figure in the truck. There's there's also ten thousand dollars for uh, meter replacement. I guess we could take that out. So forty five thousand, because meter replacement comes out of water. Mm -hmm. So you'd see an increase of forty five thousand just in equipment. Before we ever start our budget. Before you start the budget. That's why I recommend just buying that bobcat. Then, then it just then it's, it's just all, less in the in your budget. Then look on all the add-ons you got. That the people vote on. Yeah, yeah. voted on it. Oh yeah, but that's two hundred. I was looking at it. It's a big. Yeah, that it's that a quarter of a million. But at least those are the same kind of every year. We might want to just figure when we say our, our tax rate only went up this small percent. Make sure you add in. Just assume it's all going to be voted in. Yeah, it, it seems to get all get voted in. You can all guarantee it. Yeah. Any other questions on the? Yeah, we're getting there. There's a lot to do. What about the paving schedule? No, then it's just, just one, nice of the, one of the part of the parking lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and that was just when I saw the paving schedule. Is there a rough amount, like Westry, what did it cost us? 
West Street was 168. Yeah, one, I was going to say 165. 168. So yeah, because because I, I look and say, okay, I know my money. This street, this street, this street, this one, this one right here. Yep. And but I you can look do like and try one. to find money. Where's mm -hmm. the money to That's pay for that? We essentially do one street or one road a, a year. Okay, what do we do? Joe and I are talking. Pretty much. I was talking with Joe the other day about the basically south side, all the side streets are pretty well taken care of. Mm -hmm. And once they do 22, south well side's going to be pretty well done. I would like to see next year that we go up here and do some of these short streets. Do two or three of the short streets instead of picking. I know Scott Hill's a mess, and I know Scott yeah. Hill's got to be taken care of somewhere. But um, I really think we should look at Pine forget. Street, Mechanic Street. Exactly. Um, Second Street, third. If you're doing that, I mean, I think we should look at them and see how many sh short streets we can get. Uh, if we put 170 thousand back in here again, mm -hmm. and have, I mean, we're looking at if you add all three of those streets together, they're not going to be as long as what West Street was. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then there still might be some money left over where we can come in and do some just shim work, even if we did some shim work in Scott Hill. We, I mean, that's up to Sam. I mean, I'm just, I'm just throwing this out. I was talking, in matter of fact, I, of course, I won't bring it up now, but I even thought, well, let's ask the taxpayers if they want to get these roads done, if they want to put an extra seventy-five or eighty thousand in the, you know, on a line item, Separate? where they can vote on. It. You know, I mean, it's all raising their taxes. I mean, but with all this other stuff going on mm -hmm. between the school and the and, and the sewer and everything else. I really hate to ask people for any more money, but if they want their streets done, you know, give them a choice. I mean, we we uh, put one hundred seventy thousand. That's the best we can do. Well, I I, I look at, we we spent a lot of money, and they needed it for the Department of Public Works and, and equipment. Heck, we could easily have done another street. Had we had we not had to buy it, so we don't shouldn't have to buy all well, this. No, we couldn't. Have. We shouldn't have to buy no. all this stuff. No, well, I, we, I, you couldn't have because the money that we're spending for equipment is in a different fund, and you can't take well, that money out and but, put it on asphalt. But, but I'm saying, okay, we put the budget together, and where we put the, for this next budget talk here, I, it bothers me. I keep looking. I don't find a paving budget, mm. so it means you kind of find everyone, and we there need there to is. start. Yeah, well, there is, but it, uh, but it, it's you really got to dig. No. No, 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 it's more than that. You'll get used to it. So when, when you do a budget line, when you do the <laughs> no, line, no, no, no. Okay. he's not okay. saying that he doesn't okay. know where the money is for the paving. He's saying he doesn't know where it's going to go every year. Right. Yes. Oh, that is where okay. he wants and to that, and that, and that, see five that, years that, out where you're going to pay. I know. I know. Sam doesn't like lists. I like. I like seeing what's going to be going and on. And just kind of yep. every time whoever hollers the loudest gets something done. It's not the way yeah, right. to do things. And I'd also like to see like if you're going to do all those streets that are known drainage problems. All right. What are you going to do about right. the drainage before you dig them up? Yeah. Or so dig them up the, before you pay them. One of the streets that they're complaining about drainage on. If you grind what's on the road and lower it, you It'll can help. take care of. You just grind deeper. Yeah. And so the, the street is lower. As and long as there's a plan. Care, it'll take care of your, a lot of your drainage problems. Because mm -hmm. you can always drop your manholes. Right? Because all the manholes are built up on rough blocks. Yep. you got your main manhole, then they, they add up to them. So you can always lower your manholes. We just need to make sure we do the manholes soon enough right. that we can have them compacted and, and ready. Come in, they can come in instead of taking you know, two inches off, take four inches off, right. and put two inches of mix on. So you're dropping your road two inches. Yep. I mean, that, that no, I agree. Your, I think you're a lot of your water problem. Yeah. I think we're all on the same page. And I, and I brought us down this rabbit hole for paving solvents. It's, no, it's, it's a good it's rabbit hole. It's, it's, it's coming up. You're going to have that. You're going to have that opportunity again. That's for sure. Wow. That's for sure. Anything else on that? So, so for the if I could just no. keep going down the hole. <laughs> <laughs> going down the hole. Uh, the plan for the and I agree with Glenn. It's just the loudest voice gets the attention is not the way we should maintain our roads. So. The, there are schools and companies that will give us a road plan, banging it out, what we should pave and when we should pave it. Uh, I do have uh, this year's figures for how much you know it costs to pave per foot. And the goal is to go out and look at every street, see how bad it is, what it needs, and then give a rough estimate of all the roads so that way the board has some yeah. numbers to work with. That's great. Yeah. To, just yeah. to sit here and be like, we need to pave, yeah. there's no decision well, to be made because you even, don't know what you're going to pave and how much it's going to cost. Even if we look at Shimon some of the roads. 
right to save it. Yeah, some roads might just because need to most shim of them. the roads, it's the edges of the roads that are bad. Yeah. So if you can shim them, yep, and, and you can get two years out of them, you know, or more from putting a shim on them, and then you can work along. You just all I'm trying to do is make our money go a little further than what we're doing. Yeah. I mean, West Street we yep. had no choice. It's the point where it had to be done, but. Next, I think we just there's things to look at. That's all. Okay, I'm done. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. <laughs> I, I guess I, much as I hate that, I, I got to ask what the recreation abuse policy is. Uh, the so we've been working with um, the new insurance company, and they bring up ideas of ways we can improve our our, our policies and our, our just risk. Uh, Prevention, and that's one of them. They gave me a template policy, and it's for recreation. So, uh, okay. yeah, right. I'll leave it at that. I, insurance companies, yeah, love that kind of stuff. They say we're doing great. I'm really happy to hear it. Good. Yeah. We take safety in this policy stuff very seriously. Good. Round table. Huh? And mo most of my items got uh, we talked about already. I do have a uh, just curious uh, the. Uh, Meter, uh, water meter installations, uh, any update on the status of where we are? Because that's that's one that if we were going to try to get it done in a, in a year's time, I'd just like to keep a finger on the pulse. Yep, they were at 41% two weeks ago. They're up to about 45 now. I don't have the hard number, uh, but they're, they're really clipping along. That's great. Are they coming to my place tomorrow? Did you talk to them? I, I let them know, so yeah. Okay. I haven't heard from them. But you you and your neighbor. You and my neighbor, yeah. And, and the other item was, did we hear back from the state on the uh, whether they're going to put a, a sign up on their mm -hmm. part in front of people's? No, they won't. Because I, I had the people's <laughs> person that asked me uh, uh, about, uh, hey, what's the status yeah. on that? It's not our land, we can't do it. No, uh, it, it's, uh, they said they want to do a study on it, and then they invited me to a meet. <laughs> don't, don't even talk <laughs> And, and, and then I'm supposed to, I, I have to go to one of their meetings and then tell them why the board thinks this should happen. So, so it's still in process. It's in process. They only meet three times a year. What, what, I didn't miss what you were talking about. So the the, the no parking right. sign that oh. will dodge uh, people's and that, that, that we, yeah. we we don't own it because okay. we're a couple feet back the other okay. side. We're over about 500 yards. Is that, and that's the, is that the transportation department? It's B Trans, yeah. Okay. This one, one. Yep. I'm looking for that letter to give you. Anyways, I have a letter here from the lady got hurt. And, and, I, and, I'm going to, yeah. and I'm going to give it to our town manager. She got hurt pretty bad. Um, Joe, talk to, correct me if I'm wrong, you talk to the lady that's supposed to come in and inspect the track, correct? I did. And she's um, supposed to be here this week? She'll be here Thursday. And I, I did, Jay offered to talk to her, and I did give her Jay's, uh, Jay's cell phone number to meet up there. I will find that letter before we leave. Anyways, she, this lady, uh, the Prospect Street Railroad Tracks, Railroad Tracks. Oh. this lady broke her nose, mm -hmm. uh, damaged her teeth. She's got to go to a, a surgeon to take care of her teeth. Broke her arm, uh, multiple bruises. Um, and in her letter, she states that she knows other people that have told her how oh, they've fallen there and broken bones. And it's, there you go. No, that's my re resignation. Um, and anyways, I just think I just think we should uh, really push this deal this time. A lot of people get hurt down there, mm -hmm. and I think they should check all all of our railroad tracks in town. There was one of them for the, for the rubber. Quite a ways to go. A motorcycle, a motorcycle flopped down a few weeks ago. Got caught because I it, it broke up angle. so bad. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it goes on such an angle and that it just drops way in. open. So that's the, that was the biggest concern that I had. Uh, but you're talking about the railroad track on Prospect but Street by Young's. What? Yeah. Oh, actually, okay. just before Young. Mm -hmm. So is this the railroad you're talking to? Yeah. Or? Yeah. yeah. See, well, yeah. Or V Trans. I'm just wondering if you make the most out of your V Trans meeting on the park design that <laughs> they can take care of the railroad crossings. Yeah. Right. Obviously, the state owns the crossing. The state, so the state owns, owns it. Yeah. So because it's from our railroad. Yeah. So we we did. There was your wife got hurt last year. Yeah. So we did reach out last year and told them that there there's a problem. 
They said, yeah, we're going to get a plan to fix it. Somebody got hurt again this year. We sent back an email and said, hey, we let you know once somebody got hurt. Um, and so I reached out again, was it today or yesterday? Today, we you, to yeah, well, I was in there today when you, when you called. Yeah, and uh, we told them, look, somebody else got really hurt really bad this time. And she said they got a contractor that's coming, which is, you know, too little too late. But just, they got a contractor coming uh, soon. I know I've said this before, but I can't see why West Rutland, Rutland Town get beautiful crossings that's and we don't. Wrong. We, I've said it a hundred times in here, but there probably three. But do their representatives go talk to the three people times. in B-Trans and, and to make sure they're getting some well, attention? I, I We've been calling. I got to believe, much attention. I gotta believe that, that person. I just meant, nope. yeah. Bob, that wants, person. If Bob wants to read the letter to the board, he can. It's, it's not a secret, so. Um, oh. Yeah. I, I think we'll put it in the minutes. We don't have to read it. Dude. No, just but put I mean, it in Suffered a variety of problems with fractured radial bone in my left arm, fractured nose, with a considerable amount of bruising in my face, and front teeth suffered ma major damage. Yeah, I, I started see the root canal process with my dentist, and I have months of dental work ahead of me. So, I suspect that they're going to. Well, they're going to. They've got. I mean, they've got. Um, I, 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 I saw her today, and it's it's not. Thank good. you. And I don't know. That so, takes care of that. One. And. We were in here talking the other day about, or a couple weeks ago, about cutting brush in sidewalks and on intersections. So I dug through all my paperwork, and we don't have to notify anybody to go clean brush at a sidewalk or an intersection as long as it's in the right of way. The oh. town can go do nothing, they can do whatever they have to do. So, no, we don't have to go tell it. You no. can't just be nice. I thought it was common um, courtesy, but it is it's courtesy. Sort of, it, you can just go do it. Yeah. So you know if they like this morning, I got a call from one of the bus drivers because my tree had dropped, and I just want to cut the brush off right. so you can see it around the corner. Mm -hmm. And our lilac bush on the other corner is oh. is in the way, and I think that something should be done there. I squawked about that for years. So hmm. That's in the right of way. Yeah. So the I think tree in the at least, at least yeah. if they took the deadwood off, you'd be able to see around the corner. Yeah, we trimmed that back last year. No, no, we don't no. Dare to, nobody dares to trim that. No, <laughs> we'll get at it. He's got a dead cherry tree. Yeah, and and to lock up further. I want Let it. me see. What else? Oh, one quick question. And, and again, I'm not coming on anybody here. Looking at what I got today from the from the, what's gone out in the drill and stuff mm. in May. What, what do we put twenty five thousand eight hundred dollars off for the county? What, what did we put twenty five thousand dollars? It, it says here withdrawal on May was twenty five thousand two hundred eighty dollars. Or is that to go to the okay? That's is is that the one that went? Is that the money that went into the lights? That's all I'm at. It, it oh, they like, they did. They just put twenty thousand dollars into. Um, they just transferred into, into a another CD. Account. Yeah. Okay. That's all I want to know. Because you get down through and I you see it, and then for me they're not even started, and I'm just questioning why yeah. it went out then. And so that's as long as that's what it was. Because I know he said he put money in toward the lights in the park. So yeah. That's all I need. Oh, that was my question. How much more do we have to need for, for what the lights in the park? At least another 30. Can they, this is just a quick question, could they, with the money that they've already donated, could you do like two of them? A few lights, three just of them, a couple. At like one part, just in the darkest places. You know, I mean, I yeah, understand. Yeah, the, the economy. It, it looks bad. But yeah. I mean, no, no, I mean, just doing everything once, you know, digging the park. Oh, you know, that's true. Yeah, that's true. I don't true. know, I bet you could. Of not being able to get, match the lights the next time. Yeah, you know, well, that's true. Be, You're probably, that's probably yeah. very true. Yeah. yeah. I just uh, and I think the next time we go to a town auction, I think we should look at a machine with cluster lights. You know, for like even on a construction, if they're all working on a night on a on a road oh. on a yep. pipe, they can set these lights up and, sh and sh put them in concert nights at the end of the season, the last three concerts. It's dark when people leave. Just start and you just set it up by the fountain and you. Know, and the lights down each of the pathway, just to open up so people can see. I just there was just a light. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if we can, I as long as I'm not seeing. We can't afford to buy a new set of lights. But I'm saying if they go yeah. at an auction where there is some, 
and you buy a set of them cheap. And then the town, the town can use them working on projects at night if they have to do something at night. Yep. Just the thought. <laughs> I don't think that's a terrible Same idea, though, to do a uh, small section of lights. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, just something to like think it. about. I mean, you don't like it? I don't like the idea of thinking we get away with it. <laughs> you know? Yeah. 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 Not not the light. Light. Okay, we got, we got the lights taken yeah. care of. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it's better than nothing. Yeah. Well, right well, now you don't have any. Jesus, that's a farmer talking. I can tell that for sure right there. <laughs> if we could only do it with, with a bailing wire I and know. stuff, we'd be all set. We could zip them lights up. Bare <laughs> copper wire. <laughs> 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 no, I'm not an insulator. No, you guys are in trouble. You guys are Don't looking for a disaster. Jeff? They really throw a couple cedar posts and <laughs> put some insulators on them. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> there you go. <sighs> all right, that's all I got. All well, folks, I got a picture here. Paper, so this is a picture of the walk of the Fairhaven sign on 22A as it is now. Well that's, well, that's my question. What the hell happened to it? The sign's gone. I saw it this last week. I was like, what the heck happened to the sign? The post, I, I kind of picked up the post. I thought there was an accident, no. but there's no sign of an accident. Interesting. I don't know what. So the signs the poster busted. I did not hear like it. Maybe a I didn't hear accident it. or something like that. Go up to call it. The signs oh, yeah. It's like it looks like it smashed right off the other standing bolts. The other bolts is broke right off. No, we, we got the sign cut. You do? Oh, you have the sign. Yeah, the car came off and clipped it. Three weeks ago? It's been three full it's weeks. Not track on it. So you know about it. Are, we, hard going to, are we going to replace yeah. it? Yes. Okay. They, they, they're airbound. They're I, I got all those and got them in now. That's what I heard. Yeah. No, no, yeah, no, we got the sign and we're going to put it back up. The oh, guys have been just heard, straight out. It looks to me like it's pretty well damaged. They might need some new posts. I didn't, honestly, I didn't look at it. Well, but. you can well, get brackets, replaced because it's all computer the, graphics. The brackets that are attached to the broken post have part of the sign with them. So you can't really. <laughs> just make sure if you. If, you know, if you know who did made, it. They should be made I to make my own on the one Oh, you don't know. So they there's no insurance? Yeah, we don't know what happened, but it, it was reported that somebody came through and clipped it. So we went and picked up the sign before somebody. Yeah, they should have left some kind of there. tracks there, and I don't see any tracks. Yeah. It, it was an alien. You know, we He came in from a little spaceship and did it. Please, <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, I know what it is. A low flying F 35. There you go. Yeah, I've seen them lately. What else you got? That's it. Nothing. Um, as long as we're not getting 22A done this year, or as long as we think we're not getting 22A done, I'd like to, if I, I compose a letter and have us all sign it to see if we can get, get if we can get the stretch through town through done, town and send what are send it to the trans and, and let them ponder that for the, for the winter, and then we can get hold of the our legislators and have them hammer on them when the session starts but i'll i'd be happy to Good do point. it yep and see if we can i mean it's worth asking the guy did say to canfield he did say we do stupid things sometimes shook his head so maybe we've got an opportunity to rectify yeah. a stupid thing i i don't hold out a lot of a lot of faith but but it would be at least it doesn't cost anything to ask you know, Mr. Cantor was a little surprised when I told him it wasn't getting done. Yeah, I know. That's all I got. Expenditures? There's $715,549.76 in the checkbook. Motion to pay the general fund uh, warrant, $175,914.49. Second. Second. All over favor? Aye. All right. Opposed? Motion to pay the payroll warrant $32,115.92. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Everybody gets paid. I have a quick question. Please, please. Yeah. We were going to ask about the bond issue for the sewer. What was that? Did you oh, get an yeah. answer for that? What the payment? payment? Oh, that's the study they're doing. Oh, jeez. No, 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 no. Can't be. Twenty-six thousand dollars. He means the twenty-six thousand in, 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 in the. It is. Yeah. No. We we took out thirty-four thousand and then seven thousand to do this. Hey, Jay loves these. 
to do the study if we need a new sewer plant. So you have a pain like that. We already know we need a new sewer plant. <laughs> but we have to pay somebody to tell us. Jesus, right. <laughs> we got to pay for a study to put up the salt shed. Yeah. yeah. We'll study we got ridiculous. Yeah. Beyond that. Yeah. I was thinking way around the salt shed. That. Okay. Around it. All right. Uh, next thing is to go to executive okay. session. Okay. You know, well, I got it here somewhere about it. That whole building is temporary. I'm glad. I did have it. As far as I'm concerned, you can make a motion to go to executive session and talk about real negotiating real estate. That's all right. Just like the yes. That would be good for me. Yep. Well, did you hear that? I'll second it. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. We're in executive session as soon as the camera breaks down. Thanks for coming.